Oh, so, 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 so a little gear update here. Uh, my dynamic precision uh, um, amp and uh, Q15s are some new additions to my system. And uh, I've also uh, been watching Din Audio's uh, informative video on uh, the one-fifth rule, etc., where you place the speakers uh, one-fifth from the wall and also from uh, one-fifth of the length of the whole room from this, this wall and also one-fifth from this wall, but then it's shorter, of course, because this length over here from here is shorter. So. Uh, having a lot of fun with this. I also uh, noticed that if I have a higher chair, I found uh, I found that, that I heard the bass better from the from the subwoofer that I also have. Uh, so uh, that this uh, turned out to be my ideal spot. So um, <laughs> I have the stuff in my kitchen and I'm sure that all this stuff also isn't recommended to have in a, in a room that it should be more cleared out. But this is what I have to work with in my home since I have a one year old son. And if I don't have the steer equipment that high up, which you can see here, it's going to be a problem. So this is the best I can do for now. And maybe I'll get longer XLR wires later and maybe I could put the speakers over here instead. I try to have the whole system here. But uh, it doesn't work with with him, so. But it doesn't matter. The most important thing is that it doesn't break. I think so. I have to prioritize that over. Otherwise, I would have to move it all the time. So that's not very practical. But of course, it would be uh, cooler if I could have a room more cleared out with less things in front of the speakers, like this table here. So uh, thanks to Dean Audio for the the tips and uh, good questions in the interview and uh, good answers from the audio expert. And I'm more an audio explorer than an expert. So I say be an audio explorer and be an expert too if you want and call yourself an expert. But don't forget to be an explorer. All right, later.